must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Hi, right, y'all. It's AGP here. Now, yesterday, <clears throat> if y'all had tuned into this channel or if you just saw it on YouTube, maybe you saw it on Twitter or Instagram or wherever you may have gotten this news, but Ghost of Tsushima, why well, I should say Sucker Punch, dropped a story trailer for Ghost of Tsushima giving us a release date. And giving us a, like more a better in depth look at the the story and some characters that are going to be involved that are important to the story, which is awesome because I've been waiting for this forever and I know you have too. That's why you clicked on this video. But I hope y'all should go y'all should go check that out because I did a reaction to the trailer. I found out that the release date was in the trailer as I was watching it on camera. I was very excited. But we're just gonna get into this. This is just about the different editions you can buy. For Ghost of Tsushima when it comes out on June 26, 2020, which is about three months from now. So let's get into this. So the first and most obvious edition of the game that we all know about is the Standard Edition. Now most of you guys don't need a de description of the Standard Edition, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Standard Edition is um, the regular game cover art, uh, which is about, it's Jin standing in the field, you know, with the white uh, background. I don't know if they're leaves or not. The leaves seem like the red leaves that are flying past, but that's whatever. It seems like some kind of field. Who knows? It's that standard edition game. Um, nothing comes with that other than the dynamic theme. You know it retails at $59.99 or $60 plus taxes 64 or 65 really, but that's for another day. Now the second one is the digital deluxe edition. Now the digital deluxe edition is cool because it comes with the digital copy of the game as well as the Hero of Tsushima skin set. What that includes is a new horse, it gives you an additional in-game horse, an additional in-game mask, an additional in-game saddle, an additional in-game sword and armor set for Jin. So that is what's up. That is why we we spend extra, you know, for stuff like that. It also comes with two in-game items, one being um, the charm of Hachiman's favor and the other one being a technique point. Now, we don't know much about the game and how it's laid out, but you know we're going to need hella technique points because I'm sure we're going to have to build Jin up in order to get him to the point where he can fight the leader who is Khan in the game. So that helps out a lot because that's just one less skill point you have to probably work for, but I'm sure you'll need many more, so, you know. But it could be a good start for the beginning. So the third edition is a special edition. It's going to retail at $69.99 or $70. Um, and it comes with a steelbook copy of the game as well as a voucher that includes the Hero Tsushima mask, a sword skin, one technique point, the charm of Hachiman's favor like we saw in the digital deluxe edition, and the uh, digital mini art book and a director's commentary so that's what's up i don't know what the director's commentary entails maybe they just talk to people a lot about what it took to make the game like they did it. i don't know if you guys were played as six tricky but i'm going back pretty far but i'm sure it's not the only game that's done it I'm sure tons of other games have done it i've never actually watched director's cut for anything other than that game so that's why that comes to mind first for me but yeah so that's that's what's up that's tough i mean you you get more like in-game stuff for digital deluxe copy but i guess you get more physical stuff for the special edition in the sense that you get a steelbook case and you get director's commentary which isn't really physical but you know it's like a it's another like cool edition um but that's what's up you know last but certainly not least in price or coolness is the collector's edition now the collector's edition is going to retail at 169.99 or 170 dollars plus tax is probably going to be around 174 175 dollars but you do get a lot of physical things with it that's really cool one you get a steel bookcase which is a given because you got that with the uh with the special edition but you also get a sashimono which is a war banner it's about four and a half feet long and you'll see it in game you get a furoshiki which is a wrapping cloth you know, which is kind of cool. And you get an artistic rendition of the full world's map, which is really awesome. Um, printed on cloth, which I'm sure will look really cool. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know what it looks like yet. I have the picture here, but, you know, it, I, there's not much detail, but I could probably look it up and, and you know, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put that there. Um, but, and the last thing you get, or the last two things you get are a 48 page mini art book, uh, which isn't very mini. That's probably a really cool pretty decently sized uh, art book and you get a mask like you get the mask that Jen wears which is really cool but you're not actually supposed to wear it 
which is hilarious because I know all of y'all, including me, if I get the collector's edition, is definitely going to try that mask on. But I actually just wanted to tell y'all that I forgot to tell you that it also comes with a voucher that includes everything from the digital deluxe edition as well. Yeah, they made that clear. They said it's heavy and that they're giving you a stand for it so you could just leave it on the shelf. But just, you know, do that because it's cool. Um, but don't let it collect us. Don't disrespect Jin or the samurai like that. Uh, clean it regularly. You know, uh, use soap and water, um, use dusting, maybe some pledge. Anyways, point is, that's what's up. So that is the last edition that uh, they have told us about. Uh, I don't think we need any more editions. So <laughs> um, the only other thing that I would say is that I would say none of this has came out, but I would be on a lookout for like a PS5 edition of the game. And if that does happen, there will probably be a special edition PS5 with the game. And who knows what that's going to include. Because they haven't even announced that it's going to be on PS5. It's going to be on PS5. But they haven't announced that it's going to be on PS5 yet. So right now, they'll just say that I don't know what you're talking about. But you know, it coming out this close to the next generation of games and it's an exclusive. You know when systems first come out, we're searching for games, man. We just keep searching for games and there's usually not that many that come out when a system comes out so hopefully you know we'll get an edition of it but all that is aside it's coming out on ps4 june 26 2020 don't forget to let me know down in the comments which edition you want which edition you think is the coolest do you feel like some of the editions have unnecessary stuff like this collector's edition maybe it's a bunch of stuff that you just look at i think that's still pretty cool you know like aesthetically that's nice to have like a setup of just all the cool stuff from it but, you know, I think the Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition and The Last of Us Part Two Collector's Edition is going to be cool, too. But all of them are not cheap. You know, they're somewhere between $170 and $200. But you do get a lot of stuff, so I don't know. I don't know if I, you can really, if I can really complain about it. But, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit up those comments. And I'm going to catch y'all later, alright? Peace.